All right, guys, so we got a G-chip key for a 2011 Toyota Tacoma. We're going to program it with the Autel. Um, and I'm sure most of you know this already, but I want to show you something. If you look at a car and you see the red uh, light flashing that resembles anything like a key. Now, this is a car, and it's got the key symbol. That's the immobilizer light. The car will not start if that light's uh, blinking like that. So this is this is a key that's programmed for the car. As soon as I put it in, the light stops flashing. That means this car will start. Here's the new key. I'm gonna put it in. Then it just continues to flash. It means the car will not start. If I try to start it, it's just going to crank. So, we're going to use the Autel. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and program this key. Um, I've got the, the good key in, the programmed key in that starts the vehicle. It's in. Ignition is turned on. Uh, we're, going to, we're going to go ahead and just use hot function. Uh, immobilizer and keys and what you want here is key registration okay so tell me that uh, this is going to be used to register a new transponder code uh, this function registers a new transponder just transponder code by inserting a new key, then follow the prompt messages when you see this function. It's a pretty simple process, and the Autel always comes through on uh, on these Toyotas. Okay, so I got the key in, got it turned on. Hit next. Okay, remove the key from the cylinder. The key's removed. Insert it. Ignition, turn ignition on. Then I'm going to hit next. Okay, remove the key from the key cylinder within 20 seconds, then press next. Key is out. Insert the key that you want to program in the ignition. Do not turn it on. Hit next. Okay, now it's registering the key. Make sure you do not turn the ignition on. If you turn the ignition on, it, it'll fail every time. So at this point, we still have us a blinking light. The key is just inserted in the ignition and we're letting the machine do its thing. Okay, key is now registered. You can see that the light is not flashing and that means this car should start and there you go um, so if you want to program another one you hit next we're done someone hit escape and I do want to exit the key registration, and that's it. Now, I'm also going to link a tool that is on Amazon. I think the last time I looked, it was about twenty dollars. Might, might 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 be about thirty, but it allows you to program your your own keys. So you can buy your keys online, have them cut at a locksmith, 
instead of using a $1,700 scan tool like this one, you're going to have a, uh, I'm going to go ahead and unplug my BCI. This is, this part of the Autel scanner over there, this plugs into your diagnostic port. The tool that you get for twenty or thirty dollars from Amazon plugs into this same port where this where this goes, and it allows you to program your own keys. So, you know that's a that's another option if you uh, if you want to program your own keys, that might be something to look into. Spend twenty or thirty dollars on the little programmer that plugs into the diagnostic port, and uh, allows you to program your own keys that way you don't have to have a expensive scan tool like this anyway uh that's about all i got we'll talk at you later